All right, you guys, can you, you guys hear me? Give me a thumbs up. All right, there we go. Cool. Wow, this is so neat. Yay. All right, you guys. Woohoo. Welcome to strength training. Coach Danielle here. We're going to go ahead and get started. So if you're just now joining me, um, feel free to grab one or two sets of dumbbells, whatever you have, you know. If you have a kettlebell, you can grab that too, but if you don't have to use a kettlebell. You can use your dumbbell in its place. So don't worry about that if you don't have one, okay? We're gonna get started with our warm up. I'm not using any music today. So if you want, you can go ahead and put your own music on right now, okay? But we're gonna stand up nice and tall and get ready with our warm up. So our warm up, everything is about 40 seconds each. We're gonna start by just running in place, okay? So. Just getting that body warmed up, getting that heart rate up, just jogging in place. You could pretend that you're out on the American River bike trail, running down the trail or next to the beach. You know, that sounds actually really nice, right? Ah, so we're just going on a little jog by the beach. It's so sunny and beautiful out there. All right, 20 seconds more. But this is such a cool app. I'm so happy to see you guys. <laughs> Good. 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Going right in the bun kicker. So either stepping it out or hopping it out. Up to you. Get that cardio. Get that. Kick your own booty. Good. Whatever works for you. I'll be demonstrating. Um, all the ways for everything today. Good. This is so cool. 10 more seconds right here. And five, four, three, two, one. Jumpy jacks. Hopping it up or tapping it out. All right. Woo. So I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day so far. We're about halfway through our jumping jacks. I tried to get my husband and kids to join me for this workout. <laughs> That was a no-go again. We'll see, maybe next week, okay? Here we go. And five, four, three, two, one, rest. We're gonna take it to the ground for running man, or you could do it this way, standing up to you. Hands right under the shoulders. Step one leg back at a time, belly button to spine. Time starts now. Running man, so you're bringing those, driving that knee in towards your chest. You can go as fast as you want. You can tap up to you, but pull that belly button to your spine, okay? Try to keep a nice flat back. Try to keep those hands right underneath your shoulders. All right, again, if you need to, you could do it standing. You can grab a chair. Can do it from your chair. You Kaya girls know. Okay, we're almost there. 10 seconds left. And five, four, three, two, one. Rest. We're gonna come back up to standing. Take some deep breaths in and out. Then we're gonna go into some reverse lunge with a twist. So legs are just gonna be hip with the park parallel. Then we're going to step it back into our lunge, palms together. And you're going to just do a little twist, whatever legs out in front. That's the side you're doing your little twist to. Make sure you're stepping that leg back far enough, finding your balance before you drop that knee. Squeeze that booty. Gosh, no music. I can hear myself breathing so much more i'm like it's okay you guys don't mind we have about five more seconds here four three 
two, and one. Woo! Bring your legs back together. Go to the end of your mat. We have inchworms coming up. Big tip width apart. Tuck into the knees and walk those hands out into straight arm plank. And then walk them back to standing. Keep it going. Bend those knees. Walk it up to straight arm plank. Back up to standing nice and tall. Wake up your body. Good, going into that nice, keeping a nice flat back when you're down in that straight arm plank. 20 seconds more. Keep it going. I'm gonna shed a layer. Here we go. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Coming back up to a standing. We're going into speed squats. Legs hip width apart, maybe a little wider. And we're just lowering, bringing our arms up above our head, trying to get our elbows in line with our ears. Sitting back into that invisible chair, okay? Also, check those knees. Make sure they're not going past those toes too much, you know? It's all about sitting into that invisible chair. <laughs> When you're going at your own speed for these speed squats, okay? Squeeze that booty all the way up. Keep it going, you guys. Good. We have about 10 seconds left right here with one, um, a couple more things to do before we begin the workout. And five. Four, three, two, one. Legs out wide. We're going into windmills, but we're gonna have our arms out to the side and reach for that inner ankle as the other arm goes up to the sky. And switch, switch, switch. Oh, that feels so good. And those inner thighs, right? Ooh, I didn't even realize I was sore right there until right now. Good, look up at that hand if you can. Just get a little bit deeper into that stretch. 10 seconds left. And five, four, three, two, one. Woohoo! just some huggers, a few huggers here. Opening up your arms, reaching out. All chain the arms, giving yourself a big hug, self love. You're doing this for you, you guys. It's important. Woo! And rest. Kick that hip out and reach. Good. And then we're going to go ahead, both arms out, reach for that outer ankle. Center. Reach for this ground. It's okay if you can't reach it. So whatever your flexibility allows, guys. And reach for that opposite ankle. Opposite arm comes up and over. Kicking that hip out, kind of like triangle pose. And back up to standing. Game on. Are you guys ready? So this is our workout. Everything's going to be, um, our, we're going to aim for three rounds of this circuit. It's about 10 exercises. And we're going to go for about 45 seconds each exercise for two rounds. And then if we make it to the third round, which I think we will, that one will probably cut it down to 30 seconds per exercise. Okay. <laughs> so again, that's 10 exercises we're doing consecutively with a minimal rest. So go ahead and grab your weight for goblet squats. So you're gonna hold a weight at your chest and squat with it, okay? So go ahead and pick your weight out for that, whether you want one or two dumbbells, it's up to you, okay? I'm gonna do one dumbbell for now. If you're doing one dumbbell, you'll hold it here. Two, we'll be right here, okay? Legs are gonna be about hip width apart, toes straight ahead, and we're gonna go ahead and drop it like a tot, ladies. Let's go, squat it out, drop it like a tot. Woo, and you're going down as low as you can comfortably. You don't have to go all the way down as deep as me, but challenge yourself, do what you can, okay? Pushing the hips back, keep the core tight, try not to let your head and chest fall forward like that. You wanna keep it. 
Nice and tall with that upper body. Good job, you guys. I can actually say that and mean it because I see you. <laughs> Woo! 10 seconds. I'm thankful for this because it actually holds myself accountable too. Woo! Three, two, one, rest. Our next exercise, you do not need any weight. So you can drop it to the floor. We're actually gonna take it to the floor too. We're gonna do cross body running mans. So if you're doing it from standing, it's like this. Hands behind your ears, elbows wide. Or from the ground, you're up in your high plank position. Right knee to left elbow. Left knee, try elbow. Time starts now. Let's go. So you could either hop it out or nice, slow, and controlled, okay? Whatever works for you. And try to uh, make sure your hands are right underneath your shoulders, okay? You don't wanna have Superman arms like this. We wanna save those shoulders. We're halfway there, you guys. So nice little burst of cardio slash core work right here. Ten seconds. Try to keep that head in neutral position with your spine. And five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Woohoo! Deep breaths in and out, ladies. We're moving on to one arm kettlebell or dumbbell swing. So if you have your kettlebell, you could grab it or grab that dumbbell. Okay. I'll demonstrate with both. Legs are going to be out a little bit wider than hip width, just a little bit. Toes straight ahead. You're going to hinge forward from the waist. Okay, it's not a squat. So hinge forward from that waist, one arm between the legs, and you're going to pop it. Pop the hips forward. Going into those swings. Perfect. You got it. Squeezing the booty on the way up. Keeping that chest lifted. Beautiful. Keep it going. You have the kettlebell. It's the same thing. You're only going up to shoulder height, squeezing the quads, squeezing the booty at the top of the move. And watch that shoulder, keep it going guys, try not to let the shoulder come forward. You still wanna keep that chest popped, shoulders down and back. Good, 10 seconds left on this side y'all. And four, three, two, one, rest. You can go right into the other side, or you can take a 10 second breather. I'm taking that breather. <laughs> and time starts in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Hinging forward from that waist, pretending there's a string attached from the weight in your pelvis, allowing that momentum to pull the weight up, okay? You're not actually lifting with the arm. You want that. Momentum to help, okay? Woo! Almost there. Woohoo! Let's go. Ten more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one, rest. Option to grab a lighter weight or slightly heavier. We're doing push up to T plank or to side plank. T push ups. So you could do these push ups from your knees or toes or even um, elevated with a box. I should have brought my box in here. Oh well. Um, or with a chair, of course. But you're going to go ahead. Let me go ahead and move some of my weight so I can show you. But it's going to be 45 seconds. If you're doing it from your knees, you have one weight in your hand and you're going down into that push up and then rotating into side plank on the one side. You could have that bottom leg bent at 90 degrees if you want. And you're gonna keep this weight nice and close to your body as you extend it up into a T. And then you'll bring it back down. You'll switch sides of that down push up and then you'll do the opposite side going into that side plank, reaching up for that T. And keep it going, ladies. The official clock is going to start right now for 45 seconds. And I'll keep talking and demonstrating. So you don't have to use the weight. It's up to you. Push up. Side.
high plank. If you're doing it from your toes, you can stagger that top leg over. Arms go back at 45 degrees for that push up. Keeping that weight nice and close to the body. And keep it going. All right, keep it going. I'm going to see if my box is in here. It's not. We'll see in the backyard, but keep going. We have about 10 seconds left. You're pushing up and then going into that wonderful side plank, making a T with those arms. Here we go. We have about five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Rest. Good job, you guys. I know that one, it's like, wait, what am I doing? We're working the mind and body here. So that's a nice little combo move. Incorporating the core a little more. Um, now we have reverse lunge and twist. So grab a weight if you want for your twist. Okay. Coming back up to standing. So we did these in the warm up. 45 seconds. You're going to take a step back into that lunge. Time starts in three, two, one. Weight out in your chest. Step it back into lunge. Keep those arms bent. Extend them in front of you. And you're getting a little rotation. Pull that weight in. Step it back with the opposite leg. Whatever leg's in front, that's the side you're doing your little twist to. Every time you pull that back leg in, you're pulling that weight in to your chest, okay? Stepping it back, extending the arms out. Keeping the elbows bent though. Good. And every time you step back, I'm hoping you're squeezing that booty, okay? Squeeze that butt cheek. Five seconds left here. And three, two, one, rest. Woo, good job. We are about halfway through. I'm sweating a lot already. <laughs> I should have worn shorts, right? Okay, I'm going into bent over row. We're gonna alternate. So grab two dumbbells the same way. We're gonna be, um, our feet, our legs are gonna be hip width apart. Toes straight ahead. Hinge forward from the waist. No tuck tips like this, okay? Let that booty shine behind you without arching or anything, okay? Um, weights are next to your knees. And we're gonna alternate. So one arm back and down. Opposite arm back and down. Keep it going. Boom, boom, boom. Keeping them arms nice and tight to that side body, squeezing around the spine, okay? If you wanna do them both at the same time, you can. Up to you. Keep it going. Woo, working that back. You'll feel that lower back, you'll feel that upper back. Good, about 15 more seconds. Row, row, row your boat, right? Row it out. Here we go. And five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Woo, nice work, ladies. All right, take a big deep breath here. We are going on to one leg deadlift. So you can have one or two weights up to you, okay? Find something in front of you to focus on. We're gonna start with our right foot. Soften in that knee. Time's gonna start in three, two, one. Just bending that knee, lowering the weights in front of you, keeping them close to your body, only lowering as low as you can. Trying to bring that back leg parallel to the ground, then coming back up, giving a little tap. Keep it going. Woo. Find something in front of you to focus on for balance. Oh, you guys look so good. Spread the toes, press from that heel. It's okay if you can't get that leg all the way up to parallel, but definitely try. Good, we have about 15 seconds left on this side. Woo, challenging that balance. And building strength. And five, four, three, two, one. Same thing, opposite side. Are you ready? 
Time starts in three, two, one. Lowering those weights in front of you, tapping that leg. If you want to add an extra element of balance, you could pull that knee all the way up as you come up out of that deadlift, up to you. If you're using one dumbbell, you'll want it in the opposite hand of the leg that you're working. Woo. I should have mentioned that earlier, but at least you'll know for next round. 10 more seconds here. Woo, stay focused. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest, woo, got that little booty burn, right? All right, moving on, we have three exercises left of our circuit, okay? Side lunge, upright row. Yeah, we're working those legs and arms more. So it's up to you if you wanna add the row or just do the side lunge. You'll have two weights, pull those shoulders down and back. You're gonna start with your legs together and then you're gonna step it out into a side lunge, okay? So right leg's gonna step out and forming that, um, forming that triangle. Then you'll lean to the side, bending one leg. One way on each side of the leg, come up. Feet are together, upright row. So your upright row, you wanna keep only row to where the shoulders, the elbows are in line with the shoulders, okay? The wrists are a little bit lower than the shoulders, okay? Switch sides, going into that lunge to upright row. Opposite side, side lunge or lateral lunge to upright row. And if you just wanna do the leg part, you can. You can eliminate shoulders if you want. Up to you. Perfect. Keep it going. And again, with those side lunges, the lateral lunges, you want to push the booty back. Try not to let that knee go too far forward, okay? Save the knees. Almost there. I would say we have about 15 seconds. I need like one of those clocks like right in front of me counting down. That'd be nice. And five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Two more exercises. So let's uh, drop the weights. We're gonna do some dead bugs. All right, so you're gonna take it to the floor. And let me go ahead and go this way. Lying all the way down. You want to bring your legs up to 90 degrees, okay? You want to make sure the knees are over the hips at all time. Try not to pull them in like this, okay? Knees over the hip at all times. Arms are going to be um, actually right above our shoulders, okay? And we are going to channel our inner dead bug. So what we'll be doing is <laughs> extending our right leg long. And at the same time we're extending our right leg long, our left arm is going to go back long. And then we'll pull that arm and leg in at the same time. And then switch sides, okay? Keep it going. You really wanna focus on keeping your lower back on that mat at all times. And you don't wanna speed through this. You wanna go nice and slow and controlled, okay? Knees, try not to let them go in towards your chest. Always keep them right over the hip. Perfect. All those little dead bugs, the cutest dead bugs I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, keep it going. We have about 20 seconds left. If you find that your lower back wants to come off the mat, really squeeze those abs like you're about to be soft in the tummy. Let's go 10 more seconds. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest, roll yourself up, and grab your weights for our last exercise of the circuit. And yes, we will be repeating all of this. Yes, yes, yes. So two dumbbells. We're going to be doing a um, squat overhead press. So get ready. Legs are about hip width apart, parallel. Toes straight. 
straight ahead. Grabbing those weights. We're gonna have them on our shoulders. We're gonna do, you could either do partial squat, exploding up with the overhead press, or you could do full squat to press. Time starts now, let's go. Partial squat to overhead press, or nice and deep. Try not to let that chest fall. Stay nice and tall. I like to pretend there's a wall right in front of me. And um, if I let my head or chest fall, I'm gonna bang my head on that wall. So always stay tall with that upper body. Woo! Partial squat, full squat, whatever your body will allow. Heels are dug into the earth. We have about five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, rest. Woo, good job you guys, hydrate. We have um, about 45 seconds till we'll begin our second round. So we're gonna repeat everything we just did. You're gonna be a little more familiar with the exercises now, so that's cool. And so we might move a tiny bit faster between our transitions. Where's my water? Woo! Hopefully you guys are doing great so far. This is so cool. It's like you guys are all really here with me. <laughs> All right, guys, so about 20 seconds before we begin round two. I know you guys are so excited. All right, let's do this. All right, everybody, grab that weight, get ready for goblet squats. Everybody ready? I saw some of you keeping moving, that's good. So at any point we're resting, and you wanna keep moving, do it, okay? All right, starting with our goblet squats. Legs are about hip width apart. Time's gonna start in three, two, one. So grab that weight at your chest, one or two dumbbells or a kettlebell, whatever works for you. I was just trying to do a little bit lower weight so I, so I can still talk. <laughs> Good. Oh yeah, drop it, drop it low, girl. We're all dropping it like it's hot right now. Squeeze that booty. Oh yeah. Get ready, 10 second countdown coming up. And here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Rest, running man coming up. So whether you're standing or going on the ground, cross body. Time's gonna start in eight seconds. You can start already if you want. Hands underneath those shoulders. And three, two, one, cross body, running man. So knee to opposite elbow. You could go fast, you could go slow. Whatever works for you. Watch those hands, make sure they're right under those shoulders so you don't mess up those shoulders. And breathe, please. Don't forget to breathe. You can do it. If your shoulders are like, no, girl, I can't do this, you can do bicycles if you don't want to do the standing up. Whatever works. We're almost there, though. Stay strong. 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Grab the weight you want to use for your one arm swings and we'll be getting into those in about seven seconds keeping that heart rate up you guys Woo! deep breaths in and out legs out a little bit wider than hip width apart are you ready yes time starts now three two one so hinging forward from the waist and pop in those hips pop pop squeeze the quads that weight's attached to your pelvis, allowing the momentum to bring that weight up. 
You can alternate if you want. Up to you. Or you can just focus on that one side. Do your best to keep that chest lifted. Ten seconds left on this side. Oh yeah, swing, swing. Three, two, one, rest. Opposite side, you could go right into it or you can take that 10 seconds of deep breath, breathing. And three, two, one, let's go. Pop it. Swing, hey, better, better, swing. Good. Working those legs, working the booty, working the lower back, working the shoulders. We're killing so many birds with one stone right now. Good. 10 seconds coming up. And five, four, three, two, one, rest. Get ready for those push-ups to side plank. Um, weight is optional, okay? So grab that weight again. If you're doing it from your knees, it looks a little bit like this. You push up and then rotate that bottom legs 90 degrees, arm up into a T and you'll alternate. You can have that weight in your hand or you're doing it from your toes, okay? Time starts now, let's go ladies. 45 seconds, so those arms are going back at about 45 degrees. If you're doing it from the toes, top leg is staggered over. Make sure you stay in full control of that dumbbell when you bring it up to the sky. You can even use two dumbbells if you don't want to pass it through. 20 seconds to go. You guys are so strong, 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one, rest. Excellent job, you guys. Woo, standing up, getting ready for a reverse lunge with a twist. So grab your weight and get ready. You could go right into it if you want. You don't have to wait for me. All right, woo, deep breath in it, ladies, and time's gonna start. A reverse lunge and twist in three, two, one. Weight up the chest, step it back, squeeze that booty, extend the arms out, twist whatever leg is out in front. Good, find that balance, squeeze that butt. When you pull that leg in, you pull the arms in. Upper body nice and tall here. Fifteen seconds to go. Don't give up. Here we go. And five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Woo! Great job, you guys. We're gonna move on to a bent over row. So grab your two dumbbells or two weights, whatever it may be. And get ready, 10 seconds, we're gonna be alternating. So remember that form, okay? Happy dog, don't tuck the, don't tuck them under. Happy dog here, flat back. All right, time's gonna start in three, two, one. So alternating. If you want, up to you, keeping that arm in nice and tight, or you could do both at the same time. Whatever works for you, whatever's clever, right? I like to go from knee to past hip. Chest is up, shoulders are still down and back. Your head's in neutral position with your spine. And I want you to go power through that elbow, power through that elbow, power, power. Row, you're starting that lawnmower, you need to power it through, power. Woo, five more seconds. Four, three, two, 
and one. Rest, shake it out. Um, we're getting ready for one leg deadlift. So whether you're using two weights or one, grab them now. Or whether you're using a kettlebell, grab it now. I'm gonna do one weight this time. So if you're doing one weight, you're gonna have the weight in your opposite hand of the working leg, okay? And it's gonna start right side first in three, two, one. So bend that knee, find that balance, find something in front of you to focus on. You wanna to try to get that leg, the back leg, the non-working leg to go parallel to the ground. You don't have to touch the ground like I was doing. Only go as low as you can comfortably, right? Rule number one, listen to your body. Woo! Rule number two, always watch your form. And rule number three, have fun. Always have fun. Five more seconds. And two, one, switch sides. Same thing, shake it out. You can get right into it or you can wait 10 seconds. Find that balance, find something in front of you, focus, and here we go. Bend that knee. If you want to add that extra challenge, balance challenge, you could bring that knee all the way back up in front of you. You can use two weights too. You don't have to use one, whatever works for you. Halfway there. Woohoo! You got this. Keep it going. Even if you only get a few reps in because you're focusing so hard on not falling over, right? <laughs> 10 seconds left. I have one client like that. He'll do just a few reps because he's so focused on that balance. And last one. Rest. Woo! Shake it out. Good job, you guys. Three exercises left. Back to side lunge with an upright row. So whether you're using kettlebells or dumbbells, go ahead and grab them now. Legs are together to start. Roll those shoulders down and back. Deep breath in. Exhale, and let's go. Side lunge and upright row. Alternate those legs. Good. Push the booty back. Nice flat back when you push the booty back. Try not to let those elbows fly higher than the shoulders. Your wrist will always be a little bit lower at the top of the move. And if those shoulders are just taxed already, you can eliminate the upright row. Up to you. We have about 10 seconds left. And five, four, Three, two, one, rest. Woo! Drop the weights. We're going back into dead bugs. Okay. So lying down on your back. Knees are at that perfect 90 degrees. Okay, try not to let them go past the hip bones. Arms up in the sky. We're gonna do this one for one full minute this time. All right. Time starts in three, two, one, begin. So opposite leg goes out at the same time as the opposite arm. Just really press that lower back into the mat. Do not let that lower back float off the earth. Okay, so it's all about pulling that belly button to the spine and going nice and controlled here. And you know, if you wanted to make it harder, you could Hold on to like a medicine ball or a light weight and change it at the top of the move right here. I didn't even think about that till right now. But yeah, feel free to grab a light weight. We have 20 more seconds. Good, arms go above that chest. Knees right above the hips. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pull your knees in and rock yourself back up. And we're finishing off with our squat to overhead press, okay? 
So coming up to standing. Let's go, ladies. It's not rest time yet. You get to rest right after this. You're almost there, okay? Legs hip width apart. Squat to overhead press starts in three, two, one. Let's go. Either partial squat or deep squat. You can do it. And we will be repeating this one more time, you guys. You got this. No giving up, okay? Now's the time to be stronger than ever in every way, mind and body. Good, 15 seconds. Nice and tall with that upper body. And five, four, three, two, one, rest, hydrate. Good job, you guys. It's about 45 seconds of rest. All right, before we finish off with our third round. Woo, you guys are awesome. So our third round, every exercise is only gonna be 30 seconds long instead of 45, all right? Woo. But Stacey, there are high five you guys. I hope that all of you are feeling good, feeling great, releasing those endorphins, staying healthy, okay? Feel free to keep moving right now if you don't need that break. All right, it's almost time. Are you guys ready? All right, 10 seconds until go time. Woo, calling all ladies, 10 seconds till go time. Grab that weight, get ready for goblet squat. All right, time's gonna start. We're in three, two, one, work it. Let's go, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, cause it's hot. Perfect. Upper body so tall, squeeze that booty. Squeeze, it's all about the squeeze. Good. If you want to add a, a little hop at the top, you can up to you. If you want to come to the toes, just a little extra challenge this last round. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Back down to the floor. Running man, cross body, or you're standing and doing it. Up to you. Time's going to start in three, two, one. Let's go. Cross body running man, opposite knee to elbow. You could do it also on a chair if you have one. I forgot to bring my box in here today. <sighs> Spread those fingers. Good, 10 more seconds. Remember, we're only doing 30 seconds this round. So get as many reps as you can. Three, two, one. Rest, woo, one arm swings coming up, grab that weight and get ready to pop it. Pop it like a top. All right, in three, two, everyone with me, one. Here we go, right arm and boom, swing, good. Shoulders still down and back. Get as many reps as you can. Since we're eliminating 15 seconds this round, we're just gonna hustle a little harder. Yes, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, switch. Keep pressing it up, you keep going, we can wait that 10 seconds. And three, two, let's go. Hinge and forward from the waist, it's not a squat, remember that. Squeezing those quads, allowing that momentum to get that weight up. That's your goal. 10 seconds left. This is so awesome. <laughs> Four, three, two, one, rest. Woo, good job. Push ups, push up to side plank, you guys. Grab that weight if you want and get ready. All right, you could do it on your couch, your chair, the floor, the wall, 
If you're doing it on the wall, you don't need a weight though, okay? Time starts in three, two, one. Let's go. Pushing it up. Rotating onto the inches side plank. T with that arm. Keep it going. Really focus on this one to stay balanced. We're halfway there. I like to incorporate as much core as I can in my lift workouts or strength training. Even if it's not directly, just all out ab exercise. Woo, and rest. Good job, guys. Reverse lunge. Grab the weight, stand up nice and tall. Get ready. We're almost there, ladies. Keep that hustle going, okay? Whatever gas you have left in the tank right now, we're gonna use it. Time starts in three, two, one. Weight at your chest, reverse lunge and twist. Pull that weight in as you pull the leg in. Get as many reps as you can in. Squeeze that butt. <laughs> Good, and don't let that knee, that front knee, pass your toes. If anything, if you could keep that knee in line with the ankle, that would be awesome. Woo, five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, rest. Let's see, bent over rows. Grab your other weight, so you have your two weights. Legs hip width apart, parallel. Bend those knees, hinge forward from the waist, head in neutral position with the spine, and roll, let's go. Alternate, power through that elbow. Power, power. Good. Almost there. Nice form, ladies, I like what I'm seeing. 10 seconds. You can do both at the same time if you want. And five, four, three, two, one. Rest, oh yeah. Get ready. One leg deadlift, one or two weights. I'll do both this time. All right, 30 seconds each leg. Right leg first, deep breaths in and out ladies. And three, two, one, let's go. Find something in front of you to focus on. Bend that knee. Lower the weights as low as you can comfortably. Tap that foot back. Or add that extra balance challenge and bring that knee up in front of you. Whatever works. Get that back leg up. <laughs> I'm all tumbling over. Get that back leg up if you can. Five more seconds on this side. Four, three, two, one, rest. Shake it out, get ready for the opposite side. Have it in three, two, one, go. Single leg deadlift. I'm gonna focus a little bit harder on this side. Spread the toes, try not to bunch up the toes. Good, almost there. 10 seconds. You guys are awesome. Keep it going, keep it going. Rest is near. And three, two, one, rest. Three exercises left. Going into side lunge to upright row. We don't have a finisher today. These are your last three exercises, ladies, okay? So we're gonna finish stronger than when we started. Legs together, shoulders down and back, and lateral lunge, upright row. Lateral lunge, upright row. You could use, you don't have to do the upright row if you don't want to, up to you. Lowering those weights to the inside of the leg. One knee's bent, one leg straight. Good, almost there. Watch those elbows. I know I always gotta watch myself. Make sure they're not going too high. Squeezing around the spine at the top of the move. And five, four, 
three, two, and one. Drop the weights. Dead bugs are coming up. If you wanted to use a lighter weight for um, the arm portion of the dead bug, you can. The last two exercises, you guys. This is it before our cool down. All right. Woo. Laying down all the way on the ground, knees up at 90 degrees, arms up above the chest. Time's gonna start in three, two, one. Begin. So opposite arm back and opposite leg. If you're using a weight, stay in complete control of that lowering move. Good. And we're going to do this one a little bit longer than 30 seconds, just because it's core, it's abs. I want to try to get a little bit of a burn here. I forgot which side I'm on, but you guys keep it going. Let's go. 20 more seconds here before our final exercise. Again, watch that lower back. Don't let it float off the ground. Squeeze those abs. And we have seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Drop the weight, pull your knees in, rock yourself up. Squat to overhead press to finish, you guys, before the cool down. Woohoo! That's what's up, you guys. Raise the roof. Legs hip width apart. Are you ready? Time's gonna start in three, two, one. Squat to press. Squat and press. Woo! Yes! Get as many reps as you can in. This is our last 20 seconds of work here. Woohoo! I see you guys. I see you dropping it low. Good job. Here we go. 10 seconds, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Nice work, ladies. Give yourselves a hand. You're doing it. You're doing it at home. That's awesome. I know it's hard, but you're still doing it. That's all that matters, okay? What would be bad is if you weren't working out, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and do our, our cool down. So go ahead. We're gonna take it to the floor and we're gonna go lie down on the mat or your ground, whatever you have, your blanket, whatever. Oh, hands are gonna be next to your chest. Okay, we're gonna take a deep breath in and exhale, pressing ourselves up away from the earth. Shoulders down and back and slowly come back down. One more time, deep breath in, press yourself up away from the earth, cobra. Give you that stretch in the front of the body. And exhale, come back down. We're gonna press ourselves up into tabletop and then push our hips back towards our heels for child's pose, resting our forehead, extending our arms out long. We're just gonna stay here for about 20 seconds, okay? Deep breaths in and out, letting that heart rate slow down a little bit. We're gonna inhale, look up, and exhale, come back into tabletop on our hands and knees. Hands right under the shoulders, knees right under the hips. We're gonna take a deep breath in and round up the spine, eyes on your thighs, and exhale, seat up, chest up, chin up. Inhale, round up the spine, eyes on your thighs. This is so good for your back, you guys. If your back's ever bothering you, bust out the cat cow. Exhale, seat up, chest up, chin up. One more time, deep breath in, round up the spine, eyes on your thighs. Exhale, seat up, chest up, chin up. Wag that tail because you're happy right now. And we're gonna swing those legs through and around and find your butterfly. So feet together, it's okay if they're all the way out here, it's okay if they're super in close, find what works for you. And we're just gonna lightly 
press those legs down as we lean forward slightly. Okay, just getting a nice stretch here. Good, so a nice little butterfly stretch. Feel free to put light pressure here if you need a deeper stretch. And then we're gonna bring our knees in towards our chest, scoot to the front of your mat, and then slowly lower all the way back down. So you're laying down on the mat, legs are long. Right leg is gonna shoot to the sky. Arms are out at a T, and you're gonna drop that right leg over the left, trying to keep your shoulders down. Okay, getting that stretch through the lateral, um, through the IT band, through the butt, and whatnot of that leg. Deep breath in, exhale, bring that right leg back to the sky. Left leg comes up to meet the right. Right leg drops to the ground, and left leg falls over the right. Getting that stretch here and doing the best you can to keep both shoulders down. Feel free to put Grab your leg with your hand and put light pressure on it if you need a deeper stretch. Bring that left leg back to the sky. Right leg goes to the sky. Arms go to your side. Bend your knees to 90 degrees. And both legs, you're gonna glue them together and let them gently and controlled fall to the left. Squeeze the abs, pull those legs back through the center and to the right. You might even pop around the spine if it's so good. And squeeze the abs, pull those legs back through center and drop them to the left one more time. Squeeze those abs, pull those legs through the center and drop them to the right one more time. Pull both legs in back center, grab your knees, walk yourself up to seated and just standing, okay? Let's see, what do we need to do? Clasp your hands behind your lower back and go into a forward fold. Just getting a nice bicep stretch, a glute stretch, hamstring stretch, back stretch, all that jazz. Looking at the ground, deep breath in. Unclasp the hands, reach for the ground. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Legs nice and wide. Deep breath in, reach for the sky. And push out all the negative energy. Reach for the floor. Grab onto your elbows. Let all your body weight hang into your head. Shake your head. Yes. Yes, I am awesome. I worked out today. No, I won't give up. No, I will not have any excuses. And reach for the ground. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. And last but not least, our last two stretches. Right arm across the chest, hook and pull. So getting that shoulder. Good. And really pull it, reach all your fingers. Switch sides, same thing. And last one, quad stretch. So the front of the legs, pulling the heel towards your seat. If you hold on to something for balance, or you could grab your ear. Or Put your belly button. It's so weird that those work, but they do. <laughs> kind of drive those hips forward so you can get deeper into the hip flexor and quad. Switch sides. And thank you guys so much for joining me today. You guys are awesome. Seriously, I miss you all. You know, keep it up, okay? Keep up the good work. Keep that ball rolling. And keep the chin up, okay? You guys are awesome. So good to see you on here. Bye. <laughs> I love this. Thank you, you guys. Seriously. Thank you. Yes. Woo, yeah, mute yourself. This is good. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Danielle. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Thanks, Danielle. See you next time. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye, guys. Great Bye. job tonight. Bye. You guys are awesome. Bye. See you later. Amy, you're going to record it right.